Welcome to Nordstrom Live. I am with Victor, with Bobby Brown, Director of Education and Artistry. And it's Beauty Trend Week at Nordstrom. I don't know if you know that, but it's all about reflective glow. And we've invited Bobby Brown to show and teach us how to get perfect paired skin with um, skincare, foundation, new eyeshadow sticks, all the things. But before we get into that, first and foremost, thank you for joining wherever you're joining from. We're live from New York. It's not Saturday Night Live, but I wish, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're live from New York. So whether you're at home, you're taking, you're sneaking, and you're not working at work, uh, watching us, we appreciate you. I'd love to see in the chat. We can see it here and over there. Where are you joining from? Say hi. And as we're going through our event today, as Victor is applying product, you're going to see real life how it works and how it looks. Um, but also, all the product we're using, you're going to see links in the chat. So if you're curious, you can click on the link, you can shop, you can add it to your wish list, go into a Nordstrom and get free samples. But uh, however you like to shop, we're here to take care of you. All right. We want to talk about perfect pairs. Are you ready? Oh, we're ready. We're okay. so ready. Yes. Okay. Actually, before we started this, Victor took off my makeup, so I am makeupless, uh, with Bobbi Brown Skincare. Uh, so we're going to start with a clean canvas. Let's do it. Let's dive right in. Okay. All right. I'm going to have a seat. Bear with me so I don't like fall. All right. So now that the skin is ready, and first and foremost, let's talk about Autumn's incredible natural glow. When we're really talking about that hyper real glow and sheen, <laughs> she's got it already, so I don't really have to do very much. But at Bobbi Brown, we believe that everything begins with skin. It's all about creating that perfect canvas to make sure that your complexion is glowing, that you're radiating. And we start with our tried and true vitamin enriched face base. If you haven't tried this, check it out. It is one of the most viral products on TikTok, but it's also an incredibly beloved product here at Nordstrom. I know Absolutely. that our Let me get clients away. love it. Okay, so while Victor's applying this, he's starting with the vitamin rich face base for the eyes. So there is one for the eyes and also one for the skin. And, you know, we're going to keep talking about perfect pairs. This is a perfect pair all in one because it's primer and moisturizer. So um, Victor was so gracious. I think I'm just a little bit shiny versus glowy, but you're going to see some awesome hydration here in a second. Uh, while he's applying it, drop some emojis or hearts if you've already tried this product and you love it. Yes. Or we'd if love you to have a it. question about it, let us know. So we're starting with that beautiful eye base and what it really does, it helps create that perfect canvas for concealer and corrector. Now, how many of you in the chat, let us know, have a hard time uh, with the wear or the application of your concealer or corrector? This is gonna help create that perfect smooth canvas, but also hydrate. And over time, it really helps brighten the under eyes. So you're seeing that immediate um, gratification, but you're also gonna see yep. some beautiful results over time. I'm just using a small amount, patting it right around the eye area, and already you can see that beautiful glow underneath the eyes. All right, no makeup needed. Ooh, we got lots of love for Vitamin Rich Face Base. It sounds like there's some fans out there. Someone's Desert Island pick, so we love to hear it. We love to hear that. Now let's go in with that face base. Now, Vitamin Rich Face Base is really what inspired that eye base, and it's this incredible moisturizer that also helps prime the complexion for foundation application. So you're getting that nice, natural, healthy looking glow. The skin looks nice, fresh and healthy, but you're also getting some really great benefits for your complexion. But I love it because it saves you time in the morning. Like who doesn't want that, right? You're getting both your moisturizer and a primer in one. So I'm applying a nice generous layer on the complexion. Two for one. We love a two for one you'll see immediately it just melts into the skin and creates that beautiful healthy glow on the complexion Look at that. all right all right let's do the Not other bad. side autumn now while you're applying this for those at home so i'm just going to ask right i'm sure someone's thinking it so if you would you use this instead of your moisturizer would you just use this as your moisturizer you absolutely can so here are a few recommendations and pro tips so everyone and anyone can absolutely use this autumn i love it for all skin types but if you are a little bit drier i would recommend use your existing moisturizer and use this for added hydration mm. but also priming benefits only where you need it so think about 
uh, those areas where your makeup tends to kind of maybe not last as long or perhaps kind of fade throughout the day, that's where you want to apply that um, bit of added vitamin rich face base to really help enhance the complexion and the wear of your makeup products. Awesome. But look at this glow. I'm already obsessed. If you love this glow on autumn, <laughs> show us some love show in the chat. Love. Also, he mentioned, obviously, if you're drier skinned, you can pair it with the moisturizer. I, again, I'm combination skin, so I would just use this as is by itself. If I want a no makeup date, like literally, like I'm lazy and I want to wear makeup, I would just do this and be done. But I always have eyebrows on, just... Just, you know, I'm a beauty girl. You can't have... Those are the essentials. The building blocks are beautiful. Brows are life, as yes. far as I'm concerned. But... Totally aligned with you, Autumn. <laughs> okay, what's next? Okay, All we've right. got our first skin pair now left. Yes, yeah, so we've got our skin pairings. Those are the perfect partners. Now let's create the perfect complexion with two of our other perfect partners in Autumn. Don't we have a special just for our Nordstrom Beauties today and tomorrow? Ooh, you guys, this product is on promo. It's a special promo for this weekend only, because like I said, it's Trim Week. So if you're shopping in the chat, click on the link, you'll see. But these are on sale only for Nordstrom, because Bobby Brown loves us so much, uh, for this weekend only for Beauty Trend Week. Yes. So let's start with corrector. How many of you use a color corrector in your beauty ritual? If you don't, you should. And I'm going to ask Victor because I got to tell you, just because I'm in the business, sometimes like, why? You can just use a concealer. But what's the difference of a corrector versus a concealer? Yes. So a corrector is going to help color correct any sort of darkness or shadows anywhere in your complexion. You can use it anywhere on the complexion to help create that perfect base and neutralize any sort of like hyperpigmentation, dark circles underneath the eyes, any sort of acne marks or redness on your skin. This is going to help color correct that. So it's allowing your concealer to do more for you. Okay. Have you ever felt like maybe your concealer wasn't necessarily covering like it used to? That is the time that you want to probably think about incorporating a color Correct. corrector first. Okay. So let's do some correction. I got some bags under my eyes from traveling. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a touch of color corrector. This is our um, skin color correcting stick. And I'm going to take just a touch underneath Autumn's eyes, only where I see those shadows. And what I want to do next is just take a brush and start to kind of press that corrector only in those areas. You don't want to use too much and you definitely don't want to use it everywhere. You only want to use it in those areas where you see any sort of shadowing or areas where you just want that little bit of brightness. I have a touch left over on my brush. So I'm going to use that just in around the nose area yeah. and right down here on the chin. But you'll see immediately it gives the face this really beautiful lift and immediately what you'll see is that the skin is ready yes. for a little bit of concealing. So let's just do one eye for the sake of them being able to see both yeah, together absolutely. so they can see that difference. So let's work into our next product. And this is brand new and I'm kind of obsessed. I know that this is one of Autumn's personal this beauty is. favorites, right? Autumn, why do you love it? So this, I'm gonna probably get the name wrong, but it's an awesome concealer. It's a skin longer concealer, I believe. But I like this because a little goes a long way. And honestly, when I'm working fast, I don't wanna to have to do foundation. I'll use this where I need it kind of as my foundation. It really is an all-in-one product, super long wearing. Of course, you can still do a foundation, but um, again, we're all watching TikTok, let's be real. And so I'm loving this underpaint, underpainting trend. And this would be my pick for that to do your concealer or brightening or contouring first before foundation, because sometimes you don't even need it. Absolutely, and Autumn, I absolutely agree with you. I think that this is such a great formula. It's so versatile. You can use it so many different ways. And I also love this really interesting applicator. We worked really hard behind the scenes to make sure that yep. we got something that not only gave you the versatility to use it a few different ways, but also delivers the right amount of product. So you'll yep. see in the center, this little well, I will say while he's applying, I'll hold the applicator awesome. so you guys can see it. Um, I think our awesome camera crew will maybe zoom in. But I think what Victor was saying, so this has a well, which means it holds a whole lot of product. You do not need to double dip. You just pull this out of the container and everything you have is all here for all over or light touches for the face. Um, again, a little goes a long way. So this is going to last you a really long time. Absolutely. And it's buildable coverage, which I think a lot of people like. They want a formula that is buildable, it's flexible with your skin, it still looks like your skin, but only better. And it helps literally cover any sort of imperfections. And when you layer it with that color corrector, you're gonna see in a moment, it instantly provides this beautiful brightness. Now, you'll also notice that I'm doing concealer and corrector on Autumn before I even apply foundation. So at Bobbi Brown, we're all about skin that looks like skin. And we find by doing these steps first, you typically need a little less foundation. 
because you're uh, essentially just neutralizing and kind of perfecting the canvas before going in with any sort of uh, foundation to even out the tone. Yes. Oh, there's a great question, and I, you know, and you can always go into a store to get help too. But how do you go about finding the right corrector shade or even concealer? Absolutely. How do you start? We've got some really incredible assets on Nordstrom.com. So go to those landing pages. They're incredible. They're super helpful to help you really navigate what the perfect corrector, concealer, and even foundation shade is. But you really want to take a look. If we're talking about corrector specifically, if you're looking at your complexion, you want to take a look at the depth of the actual um, areas that you want to correct first and foremost to see just how deep or light it is. And that'll help navigate in terms of whether I need a light corrector or a deep corrector. All of our correctors are actually available in both peach and bisque shades. So for anybody who needs a little bit more of that peachy undertone to help neutralize some of that bluish that you might see in the skin or complexion, yes. that peach is perfect. For someone who has a little bit more kind of that greenish undertone, the bisque is great to really help cancel and knock that out. So we've got options and in this formula, we actually have 12 shade options. So I highly recommend use some of those great assets. If not, come to Nordstrom and see one of our beauty experts. They are literally incredible and will help you find your perfect match in moments. I love it. Okay, well, Victor's blending, I'm gonna like, I like to do like, I'm gonna say dumb it down. And I don't mean that to be rude, but let's just keep it real. Not everyone's a makeup artist or gets to have a makeup artist doing their makeup. Um, so for in terms of the correcting, I think the biggest thing to hear is if you have bluish undertones, go peach. If you have the greenish, so like think of bruised skin almost, or like maybe you're just really fair, so things tend to look greenish or lighter, then you're gonna go with the other beigey tones. But as Victor said, Try before you buy, you guys. Please come in and get matched. Um, honestly, if you're shopping for foundation concealer online, you've never tried it, you are braver than I. That's amazing, good job. But if not, come into a store so we can help you. Yeah, come see us. <laughs> and thank you for putting that. You are so eloquent um, and she makes it so easy. Um, so let's take a look at this complexion. I mean, already you can really see the difference from side to side. How stunning is Autumn first and foremost, but you can already see with I'm just like, a little- no wish, yep. What do you think? I love it. I mean, this also, like, it feels like my skin feels good from the primer, but I don't feel like makeup y. I can't tell that I'm wearing makeup. And so, people who like hate the idea of wearing makeup because you can feel it, you can't feel this. Yeah. Our objective is for you to get compliments from friends and strangers saying, your skin looks great today versus your makeup looks yes. great today. Also, stay on the camera for a second. I love, sorry, I keep wrong side. I love this, like, little trick. See how you pulled the concealer up? So, it almost makes it look like I'm wearing eyeshadow, even though I'm not. I love this makeup trick. It looks so good. Love it, you look so gorgeous. Now let's do the other side. So okay. I'm gonna go in with just a touch of that corrector stick. Just notice how it uh, easily glides onto the complexion. This formula is amazing. It's super hydrating and long wearing. But what I also love is that it's portable. So it's in this little stick, so you can literally draw it on uh, in those areas and then yeah. literally throw it back in your handbag for a quick touch up or application. Also, so, while you're, uh, how many things in your makeup bag are black all the same color? So I kind of like that this is the colors of the corrector on the outside so I can easily find it in my hot mess of a makeup bag or your makeup drawer, whatever you're doing. That's a good point, Autumn. Same here. I've got literally so many makeup products. I'm always testing and traveling. So, um, and I know that you are too. So it's so helpful to be able to see that shade on the outside of the component. Yeah. Plus, for those of you that are mastering a, a carry-on, I've been working on it for a couple of years now. Uh, the sticks don't count as liquid. So yes. it's definitely better to travel with these. I'll take Autumn's pro tips <laughs> any day of the week. She is literally globally traveling. So I love that tip. And now we're going back in with a touch of that Skin Full Cover Concealer. This is available in 23 undertone correct shades, so they will match the complexion absolutely beautiful. This concealer is super long wearing and comes in a few different undertones. So you can, we have options literally for everybody. And again, a very flexible formula that still looks like skin but you can build up the coverage level. So you can go from, you know, a more, I would say, medium coverage all the way up to a full cover. Now also, obviously Victor, he's, he's a director of education artistry, so he's gonna keep it professional and he's using Bobbi Brown brushes. But I um, would be remiss if I didn't mention, it's okay to blend with your fingers as well, right? Like you can warm up your fingertips for like kind of quick blending and you can do some like tapping and it won't mess anything up. I'm not gonna mess up his work, but just so you can see, it's okay to like finger blend as well if you don't have a specific brush for the concealer. 
I totally agree, Autumn. This is super finger friendly and you can continue to kind of, manip manip uh, I can't even speak, manipulate the formula to get the exact coverage and finish that you want, which yeah. I love. Okay, look, you guys, it's like I got eight hours of sleep when I definitely didn't. Look at that. So, this is <laughs> definitely two of the makeup products that you didn't even know were missing out of your makeup bag. So uh, take advantage of that incredible 25% off yes. on the concealer and corrector. And now we're gonna dive into Foundation. Foundation. And for Autumn, because we know that she has long days and she's got to be camera ready and just ready in general, we're going to go in with our, uh, this is one of our iconic formulas. It's a fan favorite and a hero for us. It's our Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. Yes. And for Autumn, I've already uh, shade matched her at counter, so we know her perfect shade. And we're gonna go ahead and apply that just very lightly in those areas where we just want a little touch of added coverage. Yeah. Again, we, we're not gonna use as much as we traditionally would, only because we've already corrected and concealed yeah. the complexion. But I love this foundation. It's available in 43 beautiful undertone correct shades. So again, a shade available for every complexion easy to navigate either in store or online. And what I love is that it's long wearing, but it's comfortable on the skin. It literally is weightless. Yes. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed watching at home or again from the office wherever, he used the tiniest amount. So I will say the key things on this foundation, right? You heard it was like weightless, long wear and SPF, um, but it's medium to full coverage, really like buildable as you can see. Um, but I would say don't start with a full pump. It'll be too much, so I think like it's easier to add for the foundation, so a little goes a long way. Absolutely, and again, this is one of those formulas that you can also build up. So you can start with a small amount and always add more later if you want to, or build up that coverage for a special occasion. I like to take a little bit on my brush. Again, you can also use your fingers if you'd like, or a beauty tool, and then get the access off on the back of my hand, so I'm not using too much and just really stippling the foundation only in those areas where we need just a little more coverage. Mm -hmm. So again, not everywhere, just in those areas. We wanna make sure that now the complexion is perfectly even, that everything just sets beautifully, and that we continue to amp up that glow. Absolutely, and start with just where you feel like you need foundation. So Victor started a little bit on the side of my face. I might choose, depend on how I'm feeling, if I'm like red or um, like red in the summer because maybe I didn't wear enough SPF. Um, I'll start my T-zone and kind of like buff out. So again, to each their own. There's no actually rules to makeup. You should do what works for you and play with it. Makeup should be so fun and easy and effortless. So don't complicate it. Try some things. Sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it does, but it's really important to like, like what you're putting on your skin. Absolutely, and your skin looks incredible. What do you think so far, Autumn? So far, so good. What does everybody think it. in the chat? What yeah, questions do you have know. for us? Questions, curiosity, it's on sale. Are you gonna go in and get matched? Are you gonna get a sample? We'd love to know. All right, now let's set it so we can forget it. And I'm gonna use a touch of our Sheer Finish Press Powder. This is the perfect partner to that Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, SPF 15. This is a great lightweight powder. For those of you that are perhaps you know, curious about powder or, or have not used it. What's great about this is that it is so finely milled. It's super lightweight and it just helps lock in that foundation um, without actually removing any of that beautiful glow. So I'm just using it in those little areas where you would traditionally get a little bit, maybe a bit of shine or excess shine or those areas where the foundation may not wear as, um, wear as long. I like to really powder down the T-zone through the center of the face. And I, anyone who is oily or like, feels like nothing wears on me, I do think you should set with the powder. Um, it does make a difference. And as you, as he said, you don't have to like be heavy with the powder um, and have like a white cast on your face. You're just tapping it in versus like buffing it all over so you don't like mess up the beautiful work that you just did. Absolutely. And what, again, what you'll notice is we precisely apply the powder. So we only have that powder through the center. I want to keep the glow underneath her eyes and on the top of her cheekbones there, and then just mattify everything else, just softly mattify. And this powder comes in uh, color correcting shades. So there's a shade for everybody. Yeah. But really forgiving, right? It's like kind of like translucent. Super silky yeah. too. Feel that texture. It literally just melts into the skin it between does. your fingertips and it doesn't add any texture. So good. All right, so Autumn, I know that they are just dying to see 
our brand new dual ended long wear cream shadow sticks. Okay, wait, we need a dramatic pause for these. If you aren't on social media and you haven't seen these, I don't know, seen these, I don't know where you're at. So Bobbi Brown longer cream eyeshadow sticks. They've been around for a little bit. There's iconic colors, but the new ones are double ended. So you get a perfect pair, that's why we're here. So you'll get two shades on one stick so you can like wear them alone, you can play with it. You guys, these are super versatile. And again, traveling, it's a stick. It doesn't count as liquid. You can use a brush or your fingers with these and you can have a lot of fun with these. So I'm excited. I have no clue what color Victor's gonna put on me, but I'm excited to see. Yes, <laughs> and what I love about Autumn, she's like, just do whatever you think is gonna look great today. Let's try it. Yeah, she's so adventurous when it comes to makeup and that's what I really love. So today for Autumn, I have chosen one of my personal favorites, and that is the dual ended long wear cream shadow stick in rusted pink and cinnamon. It's one of your favorites, isn't it? it? Is. <laughs> yeah, so it also comes in a single shade, but we paired it up with rusted pink. Now, these are wonderful. If you have tried these, um, they're a fan favorite and a client favorite because they're long wearing. They're a 24 hour wear. So for those of you who do not like to touch up your eye makeup, this is the product you need in your makeup bag. Love it. Yep. And I see you, Victoria, building that cart. Yes. Let us know what you're buying. We want to know what you're picking out. Yes. We want so to know good. your favorites. All right. So we're going to start with cinnamon as your all over base to create that perfect kind of everyday uh, subtle yet smoky eye. So I'm going to have you close for me. And what you'll notice about this long wear cream shadow stick is that I can literally just draw it on directly from the pencil itself. And what's great about this pencil is that it's super creamy. It's got this really beautiful blendable texture that's so easy to glide on. And then before I even um, move on to the next shade, I'm gonna go ahead and just give this a light blend so that it just effortlessly blends into the rest of the eye makeup look. But these are wonderful. They're super long wearing, blendable, creamy, and they're artist curated. So what you'll notice is that there's duos. We worked really hard behind the scenes with our global team to make sure that we had the right combos, the perfect pairings of the two perfect shades in one matte finish and then one shimmer finish. So you don't have to pair them yourselves. We do all that guesswork for you. Ooh, sorry, notice. I have to take a sneak peek. I'm like, I love cinnamon. Look at this. Look how warm and pretty this, I die for this color. It's so, so good. And for those of you that like, you know, whether you're into a smoky or not, I just feel like brown smoky eye to me is like the sexiest like smoky eye. I'm sorry for the black liner fans out there, but I just think you can really like build this and warm it up. I just am obsessed. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna give it just a little bit more blend. And then what's great is that you can actually build up the color and continue to blend it out. You've got about a few seconds, like 60 seconds of play time to really build it to the intensity that you want. So I've got my first kind of layer, nice and diffuse and hazy for that beautiful kind of smoky eye. And then we're Wait, gonna... you said this sets in 60 seconds. 60 seconds, you've got right. a little bit of play time. Okay. And once it sets, it's not going anywhere, Autumn. It's gonna go literally from cocktails and- um, Coffee know, to cocktails. Literally from coffee to cocktails. All right. So gorgeous. I love this. So the 60 seconds, the reason why I pointed that out, because I think a lot of us, if we're going fast, I don't know about you, but I've definitely done this where I'm like, oh, I have my shadow. I'm going to go this side, this side, and then I go blend. Don't do that with these because one side will dry down by the time you're done blending and then it won't be even. So with the sticks, I do recommend, recommend doing one full eye at a time and then going to your other eye. Yeah. Great pro tip, Autumn. And then I'm just going to go in and continue to just buff that out. So again, so effortless, so easy. Anybody can be their own artist. So next, we're gonna go in with that gorgeous rusted pink. What you'll see on the swatch here, it's got more of that shimmer finish. Mm -hmm. And it's this really gorgeous uh, color that's uh, rosy tone inspired, but it has these beautiful kind of specks that really help brighten up the eye. So I'm gonna place that on the mobile part of your eye, just in the center. And you don't have to be perfect because again, these are super creamy and buildable and blendable. So I'm just gonna take my fingertips and just diffuse that out. Now what's great about these is that we have quite a few different pairings, both online and in store. So there's lots of options for every beautiful complexion. And we also have singles. Yes, so I'm gonna keep talking about cinnamon because I love it. You can buy cinnamon by itself. <laughs> All right, so what do we think of the eye so far, everybody? Two colors, that's it. Love the cinnamon, yeah, two, two and one. Literally, that's it. All right, let's go ahead and do the other eye and then move on to a little bit of liner and mascara. All right. All right go ahead and close me. Perfect. 
What I love about cinnamon, it's so trendy right now. It's one of those beautiful colors that's really inspired by almost like that 90s movement of like that beautiful kind of like natural, neutral, brown. 90s nude. Yes. <laughs> that is totally my genre of makeup. I loved that. And it's so great because you can create some really beautiful kind of nude and modern looks with this, as well as some fun trend looks. And you guys, you can even use this, um, the darker shades, you can get really creative and use it as an eyeliner. So if you have one of those like angled brushes, you can take that brush right to the stick and then apply it onto your eyes. Or you can just take the stick and smudge it around your lash line for like that smudged eyeliner look, but super versatile. These are called eyeshadows, but you can use them in multiple ways. Absolutely. You can use them as fun little accents and you can also use them underneath powder shadows. So if you're a powder, shadow fan and have a collection of powder shadows you can use these as shadow bases you can also layer these with powders to create endless looks let's see oh i'm so obsessed all right so next let's finish it off with a touch of that rusted pink yes and actually sorry i think i don't know if it's here it is. Okay, well, he is doing this. I'm going to swatch it on my hand and maybe we can zoom in later. But talking about using as a base, another shade I'm actually obsessed with, it's called Cashew. This is a really great neutral tone. Um, I don't know if they can zoom in, maybe. It's a really great neutral tone. It almost like is my skin tone. It kind of sinks in. But this is a great neutral base to use with powder shadows, as Victor said. Or you can use it by itself, so it kind of like makes your eyelid one color, but not like you're wearing eyeshadow. So... Yes. Cashew. It's one of those shades. Am I looking up? Sorry. You're going to go ahead and close for me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, love. And we're going to take that rusted pink again right in that center of the eye and then just blend out with fingers. But cashew is just one of those like staples. I feel like that literally you can create so many looks with as well because of that base ability. But you can also just throw it on with a little mascara and the brows, of course, yes. right? The most important um, things to just kind of like dress up a touch. Yes. I love cinnamon. So pretty. So pretty. And then to keep the look very cohesive, today I'm going to go in with just a little bit of liner. Um, and I'm actually going to keep it in that chocolate family. So this is our perfectly defined gel eyeliner in the shade Chocolate Truffle to just really help frame the eye a touch more. And we're going to create Ooh. just a little bit more smoke and haze. I love to kind of warm it up first before applying it. So this is like a really dark brown. It's not a black. Yeah, exactly. Okay. It's this really beautiful dark brown that just creates this beautiful kind of haze around the eye. Go ahead and close for me. And then you'll see on this eye, I'm just applying it literally anywhere where I see the lash. And it doesn't have to be perfect. What we're doing is just really creating this framing around the eyes to create this natural kind of gradient from your mascara and your lashes up to your actual eye look. So I'm going to take that same brush that I used before, or you can use your fingers and just diffuse, buff it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. When in doubt, buff it out. I'm going to start using that. That would be so funny, but you guys, again, makeup should just be so easy. Um, I don't know about you, but I can never do a perfect line. I use a lot of Q-tips and I'm just sharing that with you because it doesn't matter if you're a makeup artist, how you've been in the business, like it's, you know, it just have fun with it. Sometimes it's just not that easy. Yeah, absolutely. Have fun and really give yourself that ability to just express yourself. Like what makes you, you enhance those features, and really focus in on that. But what I love is that, you know, this is one of those products that just is so user friendly, glides on, stays on and really complements so many different complexions and eye colors. All right, so we've got the eye look on. What does everybody think? What do we think of Autumn's look? Someone said, I need this look immediately. Love, okay, great. Someone else, I think, loved the rusted pink, so thank you. It's looking really good. I love it. I'm gonna go in and just kind of clean up a touch. So mm -hmm. this is another reason why we have already started with that concealer and corrector. I like to go in and just kind of clean up just a little bit, and then we'll set this on dry with a touch of that sheer finish press powder to make sure that it is locked and loaded and ready for the next step. In autumn, I know that we had a little bit of mascara on already, but I I'm just did. gonna go ahead and apply <laughs> a little bit more. It's okay. Please do, please do. Because more is more, right? More is more, especially for mascara. Oh my gosh, I agree with you on that one. So what I love you guys about this look, so for me, this actually would be an everyday look. I love, I'm a makeup girl, I love makeup, but I can appreciate this could be someone's like date night or smoke a look. So again, really versatile, have lots of fun. Um, I really encourage you guys to like go in and like play with some of these in store if you have the chance. Yes, come check these out in person.
feel free to swatch and create some fun looks. We've got some incredible experts at Counter that can really help you through some of our fun little how-to lessons. Yes. So that way you can go home and do it and not be like at the salon where you cannot recreate the hair look. You can recreate makeup looks that we teach you. Yes. <laughs> if someone has a trick for the salon piece, let me know. But makeup, we got you. All right, so next we're gonna go with mascara. We're just gonna build Autumn's lash. She's got a gorgeous lash, lots of natural um, curl and depth at the base. So we're gonna go ahead and just amplify it with our smoky eye mascara. And I'm just gonna take a touch of that. I really love this mascara. It's the perfect accessory to any eye look. This formula is great. It's carbon black. So you're getting the darkest pigment on the lash and it's really gonna help separate the lash but also create some nice volume at the base. You can already see that. Look at that lift and curl. You can use it in top and bottom. And then Autumn, do you normally wear mascara on the lower lash? I do. Don't be scared of it, you guys. I feel like lower lash mascara just gives you a little more eye definition. And it doesn't have to be dramatic. I just like it. I feel like it's not. I'm too top heavy if I'm wearing this much eyeshadow. All right. I love that tip. Let me go ahead and have you look up. And we're just going to apply just a touch right underneath the eyes. What I love is that this brush is the perfect size. It literally just frames any sort of eye shape. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's see the other side. Sorry, I don't know if anyone knows. It's impossible to talk while doing mascara on yourself and others. <laughs> and you're usually at home in the mirror, yes. like, with the open mouth face. I don't know why that is, but there you go. Look at this gorgeous look. So now let's build on this look, Autumn. Let's do a little bit of cheek and add a little bit more warmth to the complexion. So now that we've seen the full eye look kind of blown out and drawn out, I want to add a little bit more color back to the complexion and add some definition. So let's go in with a Bobbi Heritage product. And this is one of our bronzers. Now this is great to really help bring warmth back to your complexion, but also to help really connect the complexion back to the body. Because sometimes, you know, what we'll notice is that in summertime, um, or seasonally, sometimes our faces are a little bit lighter than the rest of our body. True, right? We're wearing hats, SPF. we're protecting, but we're like tanning from the neck down. So you can use a bronzer to even it out. Absolutely. And we've got so many incredible shade options. I'm going to start with this shade called Medium for Autumn, just to really help warm up the complexion. And you'll notice I'm applying it starting from the ear and kind of bringing it forward, letting that brush kind of drop off. And I'm using a brush called our Face Blender Brush. It's a little less dense, so it's going to help create more of a hazy, soft application. So you're not getting too much product on your complexion at once. And I'm doing this little method here. I'm framing the face. So I'm creating like this C, starting from the temple down underneath the cheekbone. And then any excess, I'm going to bring down here and then connect the face to the neck. And that way we get a little bit of color correction here too. Yeah. Now, I, what I love about the Bobbi Brown bronzers, and they have both choices, but I love that this one's a matte one. I do find that the matte bronzers can be a little more forgiving, and as Victor shared, you can use it for that. You don't want to contour with shimmer, so whether you're using for contour to add natural warmth, I think matte is the way to go. Yeah, it's one of my personal desert island products. I love bronzer. I feel like it's a great way to really help bring that warmth back to the complexion. It just makes everything look more structured and healthy, really refreshed. So again, very light motions gently tapping that brush and getting the excess off on the back of my hand and then just really hugging and framing the face. Now what we'll do is we're gonna bring it down the neck. So we want everything to match and blend out seamlessly. Okay, you guys, getting your makeup done with Bobby Brown brushes is like getting like a little face massage. I love it. <laughs> I know they're such a game changer. Our artistry tools are really another great point of difference for us, but it's a great way to just, you know, get that desired application that you want, a softer look. Yeah. All right, time for a little bit of cheek, but what does everybody think of that bronzer? Look at what it's done. It just added that beautiful definition and framed yeah. her face. Now, for Autumn, before we apply a little bit of cheek color, let's continue to rub up that glow. Yeah. Now, this is where you're gonna add a little of that shimmer and shine, which is why I like a matte bronzer but you can still add some glow with the highlighter. Yeah, so this is our highlighting powder. For Autumn, I've chosen this really gorgeous shade and it is called Peach Glow. It's Ooh. beautiful. It's got a little bit of that really reflective. You'll see that there's two colors, so you can mix them together to get that perfect, natural, lit with thin glow. I love it. What I love about this formula is that it doesn't add texture to the complexion. It literally looks like you're glowing any season. So I'm gonna just take a touch right around the frame and that perimeter of the face to add that gorgeous highlight. So top of the cheekbone and then whatever's left over, I'm bringing it right above the brow. I want that area to really 
have that beautiful spotlight on it. And you got, he did the lightest touch. So with shimmer, you do want to start with like a little bit and then add, um, so you can really control how much. So, I mean, he barely was like touching my skin with that brush. So gorgeous. Other side? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to just, again, sweep the brush and really make sure that we're hugging the perimeter of the complexion with that brush and letting the brush do all the work, just glide it up and then right above. And I'm doing this before I apply blush because it's gonna give it a softer finish and a much more beautiful kind of base to uh, sit underneath. So as you can see, we've got that stunning glow. I really love this shade on you. Peach glow is definitely a I've shade. Not tried, I've tried pink glow, but I've not tried peach glow, so exciting. Yes, and we've got so many different shade options in our highlight powder, so there's literally a shade for every beautiful skin tone. Actually, really quick, I love this question. Shop girl 62, I think. Um, if you are darker skin, how do you still need bronzer or can you still use bronzer? I think this is a great question. Absolutely, I think you absolutely can. It really depends. If you want to add a little bit of warmth, a little bit more structure to your complexion, I highly recommend a bronzer for that purpose. And what's great about Bobbi Brown is that we really have shades for every gorgeous skin tone from the fairest to the deepest complexion. We have something for everybody. So check out a bronzer. If you haven't used one yet, I highly encourage it. Come see one of our experts and they can show you how to quickly apply it to really get that perfected complexion. Yeah, I will look at it this way. So everyone has like that summer natural glow that they get when they're out in the sun, right? We all get like some type of warmth, no matter what our skin tone is. That's ideally what a bronzer is going to do for you. And so I actually I can't convey enough. Like Bobby Brown's one of the like most innovative first brands to have such a shade range in all of their complexion items, including bronzer, that can do that for all skin tones. So if you're curious, go try it out. Again, try before you buy it. So you're not buying something that you're not sure about. Absolutely. All right, next, let's go into a little bit of cheek color because Autumn, I know this is another one of your personal favorite products. Let's talk about it. This is our Pot Rouge. Okay, you guys, so Pot Rouge, I don't even know how long this product has been around, but this is one of those ones where I've probably for sure seen like the pan because the hole has actually gotten in the middle because I've used it. And I get a lot of products, so that's <laughs> saying a lot. Um, but these were like a two for one. I'm all about a multitasker. You can use these on the lips. You can use it on the cheek. I don't think it suggests it, but I sometimes have used it on my eyes. So I find this to be a really multifaceted product. And again, there's less things in my makeup bag when I'm using this. And they're really, really forgiving. They're so easy to use. Do not let these shades intimidate you. Yes, and what's great is that we have, again, a great assortment of shades. We start off with four of our classic shades, and now we've actually expanded. So now we have even more shades to love for every beautiful complexion. So for Autumn's look today, I know that she traditionally chooses colors kind of between these two families, our kind of pinks. Yep. Um, um, which I think are gorgeous. Today, I think we're gonna do two, and I'm gonna show you a quick little tip and technique to get that double blushed effect. So we're gonna start with a more kind of neutral base and then go in with something a little bit more poppy to help the cheek pop even more. So the color I have first is called Powder Pink. And this is this beautiful nude, as you can see, you see a lot of those natural tones of this blush color in Autumn's complexion. I see a little bit of that pink in her lip. So I know that this is gonna really complement her cheek and other areas of her complexion. So I'm gonna take a touch with that same brush that I use that highlight powder with, be generous here, and then any excess, just get rid of it on the back of your hand, or you can also put it in the mirror. But I'm gonna just apply that about two to three fingers away from the nose. I'm gonna have Autumn smile for me because not only does she have the best smile, but it's gonna help me with the placement here. <laughs> All right, so smiling on demand is very awkward for me, but, <laughs> but you look great. I laugh so, on demand, anyways, we're gonna kidding. take okay. a touch of that and we're just gonna <laughs> hug that cheekbone. You're doing great. So, what you'll see is that this color is a cream but applies so seamlessly over other complexion products, and you'll notice that it gives her a really beautiful natural flush, and the color just melts into the skin, as yes. you can see. That is one of those tones that you definitely want to incorporate on like- I'm like, hi Chandler, I agree. Love Pot Rouge, one of my favorite products. Me too. All right, let's go ahead and apply the other side. And again, really letting that brush do all that work. And again, this is a product that you can use with your fingers. So if you prefer fingers, go for it. There's no wrong way. I just like to make sure it's evenly distributed and really beautifully blended. All right, so that's layer one. Let's go in and build Ooh, up layer and one. It up. I love that it's like a natural, I know I'm wearing blush, but it's like a natural flush. Yes, 
So nice neutral kind of lighter layer. Now we're gonna go with this new shade called Blushed Rose. It's a little bit deeper. It's got a really beautiful base to it. It's very rose inspired. And I, um, you'll also see a lot of those natural tones in the eye look as well as in the lip. So we know that it's gonna really amp up this look. So, so you're just layering it right on top. Right on top. Yeah and really just focusing most of the color pi pigment right here in the center and make sure to blend it out and up and into that other shade. Ooh, Look at that. A little bit of dimension. Mm -hmm. Super ethereal, super easy to accomplish, and it allows you to create almost like a custom color. This is Autumn's Custom. Well, I guess I better remember this. <laughs> I better Don't write worry. it down. I got you covered. <laughs> All right, just make sure it's all beautifully blended. All right, let's take a look at the camera. What do we think? All right, I don't know you guys, what do we think? Full makeup, I love it. Oh, looking so good. And now just to keep it simple, Autumn, why don't we use that same shade on the lips, right? Let's do it. Yeah, let's keep it easy. So I'm gonna take that same gorgeous blushed rose shade, and I'm gonna grab just a little bit of a lip brush. And again, you can go directly with fingertips if that's easier for you. What I love about this texture is that it is super creamy and hydrating on the lip. You can also layer it over other lip colors or other lip formulas. And just taking a look at this gorgeous look, I think I want to make the lip even more glossy to oh. add a little bit more of that shine but go ahead and press together move it around and you, yeah, he used a lip um, applicator obviously um, but when you have this at home and you're doing it with your fingers you can start with your lips tap it on anything left over just put it right on your cheeks i love that tip all right now to amp it up i'm going to just add a little touch of gloss because i really love where it's going but i think we yeah. should add just a little bit of shine Ooh. and a little bit more moisture so i've never used this product oh. that we're about to use actually i'm like what is this and this is personally <laughs> one of my favorite makeup products and also skincare products it's a hybrid this is part of our extra collection for lips if you already love our extra lip tint we have even more this is our new extra lip plump serum so Ooh. you can use it as a lip treatment for hydration and volume um, volume on the lip but you can also use it on top of your favorite lip colors for just shine and moisture okay so shine moisture pump all the right? things all okay. the things we want right for a healthy looking lip so i'm going to take just a touch directly from the applicator i love this applicator it just hugs the lip and it just deposits the perfect amount right on i often even use it as a nighttime lip mask just for added oh, moisture. Oh, okay, sleep lip mask. Right? Sign me up. All right. Someone put in the chat if you have plans after this. Me too. I gotta go find some. Yes. <laughs> this is so good. Perfect pairs. Okay, we, I think we need to do a little bit of a recap. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, you guys. So we invited you. If you've been watching along, thank you and participating in the chat and shopping. This is all about um, it's Beauty Trend Week at Nordstrom. Uh, Reflective Glow is our trend, but we, we wanted to partner with Bobby Brown. They're a perfect partner because they have perfect pairings. So earlier we used Vitamin Rich Face Face, right? And so a perfect pair because you have face and eye, and it's a, what, a primer and? A moisturizer in one, so it's two in one. Hybrid product makes your mornings so much easier, especially if you're on the go, like Autumn and myself. Okay, and then we used a corrector. Now, we used a corrector and a longwear concealer. There's also a stick concealer. And again, so this is our awesome, you know, we're gonna get a little pitchy on you, but 25% off for the weekend, this weekend only, only at Nordstrom. So here's our, perf our perfect pair suggestion is a corrector and a concealer, player's choice. You can use one or both, whatever you think your skin needs. Okay, and then foundation. Let's talk foundation because this is essentially kind of the core of so many of this makeup look and everyone's everyday essentials. So we started with our Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation, which is this beautiful formula, comes in so many incredible shades, and a little touch of our Sheer Finish Press Powder to really lock it in place for that ultra long wear. Yes. And again, you guys, a little of this went a long way. You could even, if you wanted to make your own tint, I would say, I'm a, I love to mix products together. You could do a little mix of the Vitamin Rich Face Face with like a little like half a pump of this, mix it together. Um, and don't tell my makeup artist, but like just get in there and put it all over your face with your hands. <laughs> Listen, it always looks good. Yeah. Okay. So 
Then we focus on our perfect pairs, which are really the stars of this yes. show. I mean, come on, these are incredible. If you haven't tried our Longwear Cream Shadow Stick Singles, come try those singles, but also check out these perfect pairs. They're brand new and yeah. they are going fast. Let's They're so hot. Let's watch a couple. Yeah. Let's just show, because what, what do we have here? I've got, where's the color? Golden pink and taupe. Okay, hold on. Because remember, they're a perfect pair because they did it so you can wear them together, right? They really complement each other, or you can wear them alone. Um, and you have 60 seconds. And after 60 seconds, you will see that these will not move. Yeah, they're literally so locked that's and loaded. I have the cinnamon and the pink, antique pink, I think. No. You have cinnamon and rusted pink. There we go. I knew pink was in the name yeah, somewhere. Yeah, So got cinnamon it. and rusted pink, but there's quite a few shades. So definitely check them out. Um, the link is in the chat for you. Yeah. Okay, so we have we did our skincare, bright, correct, bright and concealer, foundation, powder. We and then did we did eyes. A, and then we did a little cheek action here. So we started yeah. with a little bit of bronzing powder to really warm up the complexion. We love our Bobbi Brown bronzers to really add that depth, that warmth, but also connect the complexion to the neck yep. and make it look like you've been on vacation, even if you necessarily haven't. But um, please book one. Everyone yes. deserves time off, so do that. A little touch of our highlight powder and again these also come in a lot of incredible shades this is our peach glow that we use on autumn but again a shade for every gorgeous complexion and then cheeks let's talk about these new pot, pot rouge. rouge oh look at the excitement so wait these are new shades yes god that's why i haven't seen these yet okay so because i always do use that pink but there's new shade extensions new shades so come check out these new shades we have an option for every complexion and again on autumn i use a combination of our pale pink and our blushed rose not only on her cheeks but i also use that gorgeous blushed rose on her lips to really complete and complement that eye look and the cheek and then my new discovery. Oh, this is yours, by the way. Oh, it's fresh. Okay. And I brought it in just for autumn. I knew she needed to have it because I'm obsessed I'm with it. I'm going to put more on while you talk about it. Go for it. <laughs> I literally am obsessed. I think I've gone through a few of these. So my Nordstrom uh, team has seen me quite a few times over the past few weeks replenishing this. But I love it. You can use it underneath um, your favorite lip color, over your favorite lip color. You can wear it on its own. And you can also use it as a lip mask. All right, well that, you guys, that is, Victor, thank you so much. It is such an honor to have a director of education and artistry. So I'm gonna pack him up and take him home with me so you can do my makeup every day. Um, but if not, I hope you guys had some fun. I hope you learned some, learned some new things, tips and tricks. I hope maybe you are figuring out what your perfect pair is. Um, we can help you online. We do have online beauty stylists. You can chat, you can call in. You can go into a store if that's convenient for you, whatever works. But we really appreciate you joining us uh, today. So thank you so much. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. This yeah. has been such an honor. Right. Bye, everyone. Thank you.